found a Yeti cooler from when someone left it at my birthday last year. Oh, sorry. Hi, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren and this is my friend Taylor that I also work with. Today, I am restocking our fridge and pantry. I'm going to Trader Joe's, Whole Foods, and Costco. And Taylor is joining me for my trip to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods. So it's restock weekend and that will be included in this weekend vlog. So I just wanted to go ahead and start it. It is later in the day. It's 1.30, so it's later. So let's head to Trader Joe's first and then we'll head to Whole Foods after that. I just got home from Trader Joe's and Whole Foods and I'm gonna do a quick Trader Joe's and Whole Foods haul before I go to Costco. I'm not gonna lie, Trader Joe's was not that good today. I did not get a lot of stuff from there. I did not do as big of a restock as I thought I would because they didn't have a lot of stuff that I was interested in. So, I'll show you what I got. I got some new stuff and then some of the same stuff that I always get. So I'll start over here. Got more crushed ginger. I love this for smoothies. They just come in little cubes like this. You just pop them in your smoothies. They're really good. Buffalo burgers, these are good. I got three bags of the everything but the elote chips. These are one of our favorite chips. They're super good with guac, salsa, with your Chipotle burrito bowls, anything, so good. Got some, I've never tried this, so I don't know if it's good. It's the cauliflower mash. So I thought this would be good for like an easy dinner during the week. Sweet potato gnocchi. Haven't tried these either. Parmesan pastry pups. Thought this would be pretty good for like a snack on the weekends or something like that. It's more avocado oil spray. Sourdough bread, love their sourdough bread. These sweet potato crackers, so good. Got two of the hash browns, love these for weekend breakfast. Chunky guacamole, these are really good with the everything but the elote chips. Got some of this blueberry vanilla goat cheese, so good. Never tried this before, I got two packages of it. It's the Caprese ravioli. I'm kind of excited to try. Ginger shots, got four of those. These are my favorite. And then I got this quinoa with vegetables. That would be good for dinners during the week. 
and then center cut filet. So we get these from Trader Joe's and then we vacuum seal them. So that's the Trader Joe's haul, not that much stuff. Like I said, Trader Joe's just wasn't that good today and it was so crowded and packed and I just couldn't really look at all the stuff. So I just quickly was trying to rush through the aisles. But now let's move on to Whole Foods. So I got more of the Lesser Evil snacks that I got a few weeks ago in one of my previous vlogs. Got the sour cream and onion. These are really good, good ingredients. And then I got two of the Power Curls. I like these because they have protein in them as well. I ordered the Lesser Evil No Cheese Cheesiness Popcorn on Amazon and that's coming next week. They had a really good deal for them on there so I picked them up from Amazon. Got some almond milk and one oat milk. I've been super into almond milk lately so I've just been stocking up more on the almond milk and not so much the oat milk. Got three teas, which I'm excited about to stock up my tea organizer. If you saw my work week of my life video, then you know that I got a tea organizer, which I was excited about. And if you've seen my previous videos, then you know that I wanna get into teas this year and start drinking more teas. So I picked up these three teas from Whole Foods. And then, I've heard really good things about this Flow Collagen Infused Water, so I wanted to try it. I got it in the Blood Orange flavor. It has 10 grams of collagen in it. And then last but not least, I got a Nut Pods Toasted Marshmallow. They didn't have any of the cinnamon swirl, so I'm gonna have to order it on Amazon, which is fine, but I just picked up one Toasted Marshmallow and then I will order the cinnamon swirl on Amazon in like a big case. So that is the Trader Joe's and Whole Foods haul. Now I'm gonna go to Costco, get more stuff, and I will show you what I get when I get back. Just got home from Costco. My camera died or else I would have vlogged a little bit. Wanted to show you a Costco haul. I got a few new things that I'm excited to try and show you. My kitchen island is a mess. Um, let's start over here. So Boom Chicka Pop, Sweet and Salt Kettle Corn. This stuff is so good. It's Christian's favorite and they sell it in big bags at Costco. These are another favorite, the Praline Pecans so 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 good they're addicting <laughs> this is really good and don't let the look of it turn you away from it super good just like a comfort food meal this i've never tried before but they're chicken breast burrito bowls i thought they looked good for an easy lunch during the work week i meal prep but i only meal prep for four days so that fifth day this would be a perfect option to bring I got this cauliflower crust pizza. This looked so good. So I'm super excited to try. I've tried other pizzas from Costco and they're all really good. So I'm excited to try this one. Ground turkey for lunches for meal prep. And this comes vacuum sealed so we freeze it. Ground beef. This is a great lunch that we do all the time. I got some salmon. This is really good salmon it's the salmon milano with basil pesto butter and then i got some stuffed peppers this is really 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 good we always pick these up whenever we go to costco these siete almond flour tortillas these are so good for breakfast quesadillas breakfast tacos wraps whatever dishwasher pods our chicken so this, I'm super excited. I wasn't able to find it last time I was there. It's the Tattooed Chef Organic Riced Cauliflower Stir Fry. And this is great for our lunches. One of our lunches we do with ground turkey and liquid aminos, it's so good. And this I've never tried before, Organic Balsamic Glazed Vegetable Blend. It's a big bag of veggies. It has asparagus, zucchini, yellow squash, red peppers, and cherry tomatoes. And I thought that would be so good. We also get our eggs there. And then lastly, 
paper towels. I'm gonna put all this stuff away and then we're gonna figure out dinner. Like I haven't really shown my face much today because I've just been grocery shopping and I didn't really vlog this morning because I slept until 9 and that's that's a big deal for me I never sleep in that late and yeah so I slept until 9 it was such a treat and then I had to finish editing my work week of my life video which I posted today and it took a really long time to edit and I had to make the thumbnail so I didn't really vlog much this morning I think tomorrow I want to organize my pantry I got some bins acrylic bins off Amazon I'll show you guys tomorrow so I'm debating on if I should tell you guys this or not <sighs> so if you remember like a few weeks ago or even like maybe a month or two ago I was going through that whole thing with the pillows um I returned every single pillow that I ever bought and I went through quite a few pillows I think I went through about eight pillows Couldn't find one that worked for me and I kind of just stopped talking about it because it was just so exhausting so I returned every pillow and I've been sleeping on like my old pillow that has give, been giving me neck pain for a while and I just gave up and I woke up and I couldn't take it anymore. I I'm waking up with headaches and my neck pain is still there back pain um, I think it's just not good so I finally just was like you know what okay let's try this again let's start looking into pillows again so I bought the Buffy pillow cloud pillow so it's coming next week we'll see if it's good I was getting sick of just like purchasing something returning it purchasing something returning it it was just just too much but anyways so I ordered a new pillow today. I'm just trying to be healthy this year and that's a way for me to be healthy because without sleep we can't perform our best. So I'm really trying to just like be healthy this year, make healthy decisions, listen to myself and my body and how I'm feeling and not overdo it, not push myself too hard because I do that a lot. I just push myself really hard and I just need to know when to take it easy, learn when to take it easy and be kinder to myself and more allowing of myself to take breaks and realize that taking breaks and chilling out is not going to interfere with your growth, you progressing, it's good and needed to take breaks and be healthy in that way because then you can show up better for yourself the next day and whatever you're putting yourself into, whether it be work, working out, eating healthy, you can't run on empty fumes all the time and I do that to myself and then I just feel burnt out all the time. So, just wanted to chit chat with you guys for a little bit because I took last weekend off of YouTube, so it was nice. It was needed, I needed it. And after filming a work week of my life last week, it was super needed. So, just a little chit chatty today, that's why. so I didn't want to show it. So I took the crushed ginger that I got from Trader Joe's. I had another pack. I actually didn't even realize that I had two packs. 
I bought a pack yesterday, but I already had a whole pack in the freezer and then I had two left of another pack and I didn't even realize that I had this much ginger. But since I noticed that yesterday, I was like, there's gotta be another way that I can use this. So it's just crushed ginger. Um, one cube equals one tablespoon. So you could totally just do one cube but I did two earlier, so maybe I'll just do one this time. But just fill up a whole Yeti of water and ice if you want. I took half a lime, and you can also do half a lemon, but I had some lime that I needed to use up, so I did lime. And it's a really refreshing drink. So I'm just gonna take, I'm probably just gonna do one cube for this one. It comes with a lot, so you could put it in smoothies, put it in water and have like a refreshing drink with good ginger that's super good for you yeah just thought that was interesting and i thought it was really good so i'm gonna make another one I'm trying to be really good about water even though i i think i really am good about water christian and i are both really good about drinking water we started doing that being really good about drinking water what was it, the beginning of last year so we've just been really good about it. I think so. So I think I'm gonna organize my pantry. I got some acrylic bins on Amazon and these are actually really good quality. These can be super expensive for just a clear acrylic bin, it's crazy. Um, they have a cheaper one too, but I liked the shape of these better than the other one, so I'll link both of them down below. The other one has really great reviews. They just go down on the sides and then kind of pop out a little bit. They're stackable, but these came with four of the big bins and then two of these smaller bins. So this is what they look like. So I liked that option. The other one just came with, it did come with eight acrylic bins and it was $10 cheaper, but I just didn't like the shape and they were all the same size. So I like how these have four of the bigger ones and then two of these. So I'll link them both down below. I got six bins for $31 and I probably won't need to use all them for the pantry. I could probably use some for under the sink. And if anything, I can always order more. But this is our pantry. It's, I mean, it's not super unorganized, but I figured since we it's wire racks, it's hard with containers. They like tip over if they're not perfect, perfectly balancing on the wire. So I thought getting some of these would kind of organize it a little bit better. So I'll link them down below. And um. Yeah, so let's get to organizing this. I already have something like this for a lot of our chip bags and then a little black container for extra spices. And I also have this wooden one. But yeah, okay, let's get, let's get to it. I don't know how I'm gonna show this. Okay, that was really hard to show so I hope I got a few clips of me trying to organize it ignore the bottom that's just our extra like convectional oven some extra propane vinegar and then a cooler but I like it it's not like we have a ton of stuff that fits in a pantry so obviously there's a ton of dead space and I didn't use all of the containers so I'm hoping to organize underneath the sink next but I just moved a bunch of stuff up here that we don't use that often. Some baking stuff, maple syrup, coconut oil, sugar, vanilla extract. All of our extra spices are in there. Extra Ziploc bags, extra tin foil, stuff like that. 
And then on here, it's just going to be some almonds and some extra snacks. Basically our sweet shelf. And then down here, it's going to be chips and snacks and popcorn and crackers, all that stuff. And then down here, we have some vitamin C packets, water enhancers, liquid IV, stuff like that in there. All of my teas. I did have them up here, but I wanted to be able to see what they were, what I was grabbing. So I wanted to move it down to a shelf that is below eye level. Oatmeal, almond butter, cookie butter, granola, flax seed, chia seed, and then my rolled oats that I eat. Christian eats these for breakfast every day. And then down here, I, we got this tray from Christian's sister, so I wanted to use it as some type of organizing tray. So I used it to organize all of our rice, potatoes, couscous, stuff like that. And then over here, just use this tray to organize pasta sauce, pasta, tuna. I know tuna doesn't really go with it, but just some canned goods as well. I guess this is the pantry. It looks a lot better, in my opinion, but I have, I don't even know what to use this jar for. I was using it for my Nespresso pods when I had my Nespresso machine, but now that I don't have it anymore, it's just been sitting empty in the pantry, but I have three extra bins, so I'm gonna try and use two of them to organize underneath the sink, and then I want this one for my bathroom. And we have all these shelves, extra napkins, but we have all these shelves that I don't know what to use. I use them in our old apartment for stacking the plates on top of each other because we really didn't have a lot of cabinet space. But here we have so much cabinet space and extra space that I don't even need them. So I don't know what I'm gonna use them for. I could just donate them to Goodwill or I don't even know, does Goodwill take stuff like this? Or throw them away, I don't know. Um, but use these to organize underneath the sink with all of our cleaning supplies and stuff like that so i'm gonna do that now i really do need to organize under here really bad i actually want to get a new makeup case container this is just so big and i don't have that much makeup to fill it up or need it but look how much space it takes up just takes up so much space I've had it for so long. I think I've had it for like seven, seven years or eight years. I remember when I asked for it for Christmas, I saw it on the Kardashians. <laughs> I need a new way to organize my makeup because I don't even like need this much space. I could totally organize it with skincare and makeup. This is just a mess with all this stuff just kind of taking up a ton of space down here and I'm not utilizing it and I just throw everything in here because I'm in a rush in the mornings for work. So yeah, I'm gonna try and figure this out, organize it a little bit better. just dropped off trash I organized oh 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 I spent like two probably a total of three hours organizing my pantry underneath my kitchen cabinets and some of my kitchen cabinets today I'll show you underneath my sink and how I reorganized it when I get back home I'm really excited about it and um, yeah so I'll show you that when I get back home but now I am going to Ulta to get some just random stuff. I want to get a face mask by The Ordinary. The Ordinary is hyaluronic acid, which I haven't used in like six months. And I want to start using it again. And then Q-tips. Did I say that? I want to get Q-tips. Just some random stuff. But And then I'm going to go to Publix and just get some produce that I didn't get at Trader Joe's or Whole Foods um, or Costco. Because... It's just like green beans and like little sweet peppers 
that we eat and I feel like all, stuff like that goes bad quickly from Trader Joe's and it's priced so high at Whole Foods and do you guys even need the explanation? Yeah, so I'm doing all that but I just wanted to give you guys an update because it's four o'clock now and I spent like over three hours organizing. I just got home from Ulta. Wanted to show you a little haul. I also got more Lux Unfiltered in the mail. I got it in yesterday, which is my favorite self-tanner that I layer with my other self-tanner. So I'll show you that after this haul, but I wanted to show you what I got. The salicylic acid mask, and then I got the hyaluronic acid. This is what they look like. I'm excited to try this mask. I'm gonna try it tonight. Never tried it before, but I've tried the hyaluronic acid before. I got some clips to tie or to hold my hair back for work. Got some of these Mighty Patches Q-tips. And then I got this headband for face masks or to hold your hair out of your face, which I'm really excited about actually. So that is the Ulta haul, very small, but let me show you this is what i get from luxem filtered it's number 32 the hydrating self tanning cream in the santal scent it's my favorite i think this is my seventh or eighth container of it it's so good it's some of my favorite self tanner okay here is the organization that i did below my sink i had an extra bin from the pantry organizing bins so I put it in here and put my dry shampoo, hair oils, leave-ins, stuff like that over here. And then here, I really wasn't utilizing this storage container that I've had for so long. I don't even think they make these anymore. This is by the brand Glambox, but I moved my skincare and some other things into here. Instead of taking up this cabinet, let's start with the bottom drawer. So the bottom drawer is gonna be all of my skincare or majority of it. So I have eye creams, sunscreen over here, some face masks, some products, another mask, uh, night serums, and then back here, I just put this ordinary mask back here. I don't know if I'm gonna put it back here or not. Radiance pads, moisturizers, night moisturizers, eye gels, serums, a lip product, some random stuff. And then in this drawer, I had these little containers already from, I think they're from the container store. But I had all of my hair clips and hair scrunchies, more scrunchies. And then in here, it's kind of just random stuff. I have these alcohol prep pads that I use for my gua sha stone to sanitize it. For sunglasses, blue light glasses, I use these to wipe them. Um, I have some of these Mighty Patches in here, Crest White Strips, I have Olaplex back there, and then just some perfumes. And then here is all of my face makeup, blushes, highlighters, bronzers, powders, primers, foundation. So all of my face products are in here and then these are all like eye and lip products, which I kind of threw out a lot of stuff. These are just like eye palettes. Um, I use this as eyeshadow, the Hoola Benefit bronzer. Some lip products, I don't have a lot of lip products, don't really buy lip products, don't really like lip products. <laughs> then up here I have my brushes. I have some spoolies, my beauty blender, some Evian facial spray, some oils that don't fit down on the bottom drawer. In the back I have some self tanning drops which I use Valley Body and then also I use the Isle of Paradise as well. New year, tons of organizing done. going to get us some chipotle for dinner and then i have it for lunch tomorrow and then i'm gonna meal prep our lunches tomorrow yeah then we'll have them for the rest of the week so i'm kind of excited chipotle sounds super good and then i'm gonna come back and do a face mask we'll get a good night's rest 
Oh, um, I wanted to say that last night I slept with, oh my gosh, the light. Last night I slept with a pillow between my legs for the first time and it was life changing for my sleep. Like it kept my posture so aligned that I don't know. It was incredible. I woke up with like zero aches and pains, maybe like a few that were still hanging around from the day before, but it was incredible. Like incredible. So I, I'm going to do it again um, tonight and see how it is for the rest of the week because this might be my new go-to because I'm like a back and a side sleeper. So I feel like when I'm on my back, it's fine. But when I'm on my side, that's when it can mess with me and mess with my neck and shoulders. So I'm actually kind of excited because I woke up this morning and actually felt like a little bit well rested. And I haven't felt that way in a long time. I just want to say. I don't think, I can't remember. I saw this meme. I saw this meme and it was like, you kind of just wake up tired one day and then like you're tired for the rest of your life. <laughs> and it's so true. But last night, I swear, like this morning, I woke up so well rested. I'm not gonna say refreshed because we're not there yet, but I'm hoping to get there. But I woke up feeling like a little bit well rested. So. You know guys, it's the little things. Without sleep and your health, there's you just have nothing. So, I'm on my way to Chipotle in this. I need to put you down because you're like on my dash. Okay, I just got home with Chipotle. I'm gonna tell you what I get, even though no one asked. <laughs> um, I get brown rice, light black beans, half steak, half chicken, veggies, um, mild, and lettuce on top. And then I come home and I put Greek yogurt on top, and it's like sour cream. And then the key. The key to a perfect Chipotle label is the everything but the LOT chips from Trader Joe's to go with it. So I'm gonna eat dinner, watch some YouTube, and then shower. I forgot that I wanted to hard boil some eggs for work. It's like a snack. How many should I do? I think I'm gonna do I think I'm only gonna do eight because I might not want it five days a week, but I'm probably gonna do like two a day. So I'm just gonna do eight and if it comes to Friday and I want more hard boiled eggs, then I'll just make some.